Okay, my, my fellow subscribers and friends, everyone that likes to stay tuned in, right here the title reads, 7,000 migrants have arrived in Chiapas in one week. So about 7,000 Central Americans have arrived in Chiapas this past Thursday to um, process their humanitarian visas. Very tired um, in reality, uh, <laughs> I was going to say for real, for real, but the truth is we're very tired and we come a little bit sick. We need a little bit of uh, medical attention, and now I see, I see us more better. Ya lo miro más mejor, so I see I see it better. Uh, said Yenzi Yadiro Romero Duarte, an Honduran migrant. So the seven thousand migrants who started their process with the INM in Immigration of Mexico received a bracelet, an identification bracelet, and most of these guys are still in Ciudad Hidalgo in Chiapas. They're in Tecún, Uman, Guatemala, and they're on the bridge of, of the International Bridge right there. So there's a lot of migrants down there in the south. Uh, in reality, it was real easy because in, in a short time, they actually told us that it was going to take about four months. And to us, it, it, was, it only took five days, said uh, Shayla Matamoros, an Andurian, another Honduran migrant. While, the, while there is about 5,605 waiting to complete their mi uh, migration process, approximately 2,000 migrants of another caravan decided to not register themselves with the Mexican authorities um, the past Friday. And they said that, you know what, let's just go to Oaxaca without registering. You know, they're, they're, that's, when I saw that's when I was telling you guys that they're, um, they're pushing through Mexico illegally. On the highways in Chapa, small groups of migrants are going are walking and some are even uh, hitching rides tenemos que caminar solos tenemos que ir buscar el trabajo buscar el trabajo para poder vivir porque no so they're saying that they just they're with the same story that um, we got to walk by ourselves and look for work because that's that's the only way to live in our country there is no job said a, a migrant under migrant carlos barrera so there, are, um, those are the migrants, and there's a lot of migrants that have the same dream. We didn't come to Mexico to look for a better life. I want to go to the United States, uh, confirmed Angel Rodriguez, another Honduran migrant. Without money in their pockets and just a bunch of, uh, bunch of uh, belongings in a backpack they have on their backs, they, they, um, they assure that they have no, they have no fear. About the distance that they have to walk and cross. So me, I want to go to Los Angeles if I can make it. If God is giving me the chance to make it. If God gives us the opportunity to make it. Said Jose, another migrant, uh, uh, Honduran, Honduran migrant. Carlos was abandoned by his father at seven months. And since then he lives with his uh, grandmother. Quiero darle la mejor vida para ella. Es muy pobrecita, no tiene donde vivir. No, no, no. So I want to give the better life for her. She is very poor. She doesn't, no tiene, she doesn't even have where to where to live at. We're out, uh, I'm out here. I'm out here risking um, my life to give them a better life. She raised me, and now I gotta look out for her. Said Carlos Barrera, another migrant, Honduran uh, migrant. Tratar de lunes. So. This this Monday this Monday in in the afternoon, I and M said that f about five thousand six hundred five have initiated their their process for a humanitarian visa, in which, in which there are about one thousand one hundred eighty six that are of young of young age that are um you know below eighteen. That's the news. Hopefully I did, I, no, no, you know what, I did a pretty good job this time. I did a pretty good job translating. Hope you guys like the news, and I know I'm not posting that much, but you know what? Got to give you guys the news, what's going on. Catch you guys later.